It's Monday morning with Shorty, Starbucks and Shorty on Monday morning. Today's March the 4th. On March 3rd, 1986, I turned in guns and drugs to the police to end the war on drugs. I did the same thing in 2011. So in 2024, I want exoneration of the Supreme Court. Everybody tagged in this post, I got videos with you. Social media for social change. Remember the movie Superfly? When he wanted to leave and get out the game, he gave you all an envelope. I gave you the same envelope. Commissioner Worley got that envelope. Commissioner Belfield, Commissioner Batts, Ed Norris, Ivan Bates, Greg Bernstein, Zeke Cohn. It's a story about Baltimore and the money y'all make off black bodies. So today I'm pushing buttons. It's the golden time of day. I went from toilets to buttons. And I'm at Starbucks. So this is what I'm gonna do to you. Dr. Larry Hogan made $4 billion off of slave labor in his eight years in office. I'm a cook, I'm a caterer. Governor Hogan had me removed from the ballot. I'm a black radical Republican. I'm a black Republican. If you wanna address racism, you gotta send Governor Hogan to jail. If Lagoimish can go to jail, so can Hogan. Governor Hogan hired Robert Hur from the Department of Justice to be on his, uh, on his team. He used Robert Hur to protect him from a criminal investigation. Governor Hogan had me removed from the ballot in 2014. Attorney General Anthony Brown got that information because Anthony Brown was running for office too. I'm a Republican. We're talking about voter suppression. I'm a member of Out for Justice. Ex-felons got a right to vote. We, we veto Governor Hogan's, yeah. So I'm going with Mr. Trone for the 2024 elections. Governor Hogan, if Lagoyevich can go to jail, you can too. I'm not McGrath. I'm not Robert Clay. I'm not Daryl DeSouter. I'm Shorty. And I'm pushing your buttons in 2024. I got a meeting with Benjamin Brooks today at 1 o'clock. I'm going to present Benjamin Brooks with all my evidence. Governor Westmore got my paperwork for exoneration. Yeah, Governor Westmore has it. The Maryland Black Caucus has it. Corey McRae has it. And if you go directly to Kaylin Young, check that paperwork out. Mayor Brandon Scott got it too. City, county, state, and federal levels. I've exhausted my remedies under the law. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Well, we're gonna find out in 2024, because we're gonna end Jim Crow.